So at this point, I have done all of the dirt painting. You definitely want to paint your own dirt. I know that there's some products out there that you can go ahead and sprinkle it around. But the thing is that if you use that, uh, you once again run into an issue of realistic looking textures and colors versus painted, which can actually look kind of funny against a miniature. What I like to do is I like to actually paint my dirt. I use... Citadel's texture paints. Agrellian Earth is a great one to use for general dirt, not kind of like mud or anything like that or cracked earth that's been dried out. I also like to tone down the color of it a little bit. I do that by adding a hint of black. The reason why is that it darkens down how much of a lightish color that the texture paint already is, giving it a little bit more realistic look when it's dried. It also adds different textures around, but also the color variation because dirt in general is not uniform in color. Uh, completed drying here, you'll see that it'll texture up quite nicely and have some cracks and things like that and look a lot more realistic. The thing that I learned with the Citadel texture paints is the more heavily you glop it on, in other words, you just take a big a uh, glop of it and just throw it on. As you can see, it's very thick in some areas. And as it dries, the these areas will heavily crack up. As opposed to if you put a very fine layer, then you'll get little to no cracking at all, and you'll instead just get the color. So at this point, we just have to wait for all of this to dry, which is kind of boring. So I'm going to go do something else in the meantime. Anyways, at uh, this time, I don't want to add anything else to the model. So I will come back once it has dried and we can continue from there. And we are back after our drying period. You can see that the technical paint has dried up as intended. So it has a lot of cracking. You can see it's heavier in the areas that I added a lot of the technical paint and other areas where I have not. You can also see where the areas of the black paint that was mixed in it took effect where you don't see any kind of cracking at all and it has some color variations throughout the whole model. What I'm going to be doing now is adding some shading to all the recesses of the cracking. So I can do that in a couple different ways. I can either use a wash of Agrax Earth Shade by Citadel, or I can use Army Painter's Strong Tone Ink. You could also use Soft Tone Ink if you wanted a lighter shading, but in this case I want to really get in there in the deep recesses and bring those out. Once this is done, I'm going to go ahead and give it a light brushing to give it a highlight over it, and then we will begin adding on all of the foliage. After looking at some of the different washes, I decided to go ahead and use Agrax Earthshade. Uh, the other one I was looking at using was Strong Tone Ink, but it's a little bit too dark. So I just completed putting the wash everywhere. What I used was a mixture of Soft Tone Ink along with a Quick Shade Mixing Medium to do all over the base. And then to give a little bit more color variation, I decided to use a mixture of Strong Tone Ink in Quick Shade Mixing Medium to do inside of the burial pit as well as the under part of the hill here. So once this is all dry, we'll give it a quick highlight and then we'll move on to doing the foliage. All right, so I am back. We After doing all the highlights, uh, what I ended up doing here off screen is I ended up using some Citadel's Nylock Oxide. I put that over the gold pieces here just to get, you know, make them look a little bit weathered. Uh, I also went ahead and I used Leather Brown along with Monster Brown. 
And so that brightens everything up again, but you still maintain all the shadows. You see some of the uh, color differentiation. One thing that I noticed when I had positioned the model was that this log that I had put on here was in the way. I went ahead and I removed it, uh, but we're still going to keep the other log because it gives a good aesthetic. So at this time, just like painting, when it comes to adding flock and things like that, uh, and grass as well, you want to start with the darkest colors and then work your way to the lightest colors. This will create a good transition. You also want to use, uh, I use a Tupperware uh, here. And what I do is I kind of take pinches out of everything and I keep adding it to this uh, bucket here and it will create blends as I'm going so that everything kind of looks more natural as opposed to just a hard transition between here's one color of grass and here's another color of grass. Uh, if you look outside your window in your yard or if you're looking at a field you'll see that grass typically blends much like dirt. There's no hard line as to the different colors of grass so so anyways at this point i'm going to start doing the uh the loose dirt i'm going to be doing that around the grave itself here i'm going to put some at the base of this uh the building here as well as around the some of the gravestones and things like that uh and then uh from after that we will start adding a little bit of grass so to do this what i will do is i use uh basin glue you can use Elmer's glue. This will work just as fine. But what you want to do is you want to take this and you want to water it down. Generally, consistency of uh, one part glue to three parts water. You want it pretty liquidy. And you don't need it to be super thick. Because if you get it really thick, then you'll get clumps. And again, those will take a long time to dry. They'll look gross on the model. Uh, and you, you just want to try to avoid it as much as possible. So anyways, uh, I will go ahead and start adding on some of the uh, brown ground here, which is this here. This is that loose dirt that I'm going to use. Then once I'm done with that, I'm going to work on the step grass. You can see it's a little bit darker, has some of the same colors. I'm then going to work on this dead grass. Again, uh, try to share some of the same colors as the previous one here. And then uh, we'll work on some... A lighter grass which will be our our natural highlight so anyways uh, i'm going to turn the camera off now uh, and i will come back once i am done putting on the dirt so you can see what it looks like Okay, at this point you can see that I am done doing the dirt flock on the model. Kind of made up a little bit of mess. Uh, catch all the extras in here. And uh, now I'm going to be starting to add the grass. First part I'm going to be doing is adding the, the darker underlying grass on some of the areas. This is mostly going to be around the graves and things like that. Um, stuff that's more of knocked down and kind of weedy looking uh, as opposed to actual grass. And then uh, once that's done, we'll then start going up to the next color. So just to show you here, what I do is I add a pinch of the new stuff to what's already in here and mix it. And then you slowly keep adding it, similar to how you would blend a paint.